guys, this is Runs of Network Gaming here, back at it again with another episode, and today we're going to be playing Pac-Man on a Nintendo Entertainment System, or as most people like to call it, the NES. So, you're probably asking, we're Runs of Network, why would you play Pac-Man on the NES if you already had three episodes of you playing Pac-Man? Well, for three reasons. Number one, this season is called Pac- is Pac-Man Month, and it's season two. So that means, if it's Pac-Man month, I can play all of the Pac-Man games I want. Well, I mean, not all of them. I mean, come on, I only have a few Pac-Man games. <laughs> but anyways, um, in reason two, I got this on, I got this today, and it's Christmas! And also, just give you a heads up, new Pac-Man Plus show episode is releasing, them, releasing tomorrow, and it's a Christmas special. And th and the third reason is that on, I love Pac-Man, I love Pac-Man. And as one of you Pac-Man fans like Sasha Yoshi or Super Starfy, you do too. So, Pac-Man was originally released to the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1984. The first Pac-Man game on the Nintendo System was, was Namco brought the game to the Famicom. You're probably wondering what the Famicom is. Well, I'm gonna give you a tour. The Famicom is basically the Japan version of the Nintendo Entertainment System. But, but in like the 1984s and stuff like that, Namco, or Namcot, in their, in Namco's Famicom named way, decided to like, decided to port their arcade games, including some that were released in Japan, to the, to the Nintendo Famicom. And one of them was Pac-Man. And by standards, this port of Pac-Man is pretty good, not gonna lie. But anyways, let's, um, what am I saying? S but in 1984, in the same year, this company, this company called T-N-G-N-G-D-G-E-N. I can't say the word yet because no one would be spoiling. But this company decided to borrow their game and bring it to them. And Namco was fine with that, so they brought it to America, and they licensed it to their company name. And as a matter of fact, there are three versions of Pac-Man on the NES. The first version of Pac-Man on the NES was released in a bl in a black unlicensed cartridge by Tengen, which is a company that made ports of arcade games and also ports that were already released in the Nintendo Entertainment System and also brand new games in the Nintendo Entertainment System in their black cartridges, which I don't know why would they do that, because they should be released in their gray cartridges like they is, but the black cartridges look pretty good, but they kind of look too big, like I haven't held them, or I haven't told what size they are yet, but I'm afraid they're like kind of big to fit in Nintendo Entertainment System, and this right here, this Pac-Man version that I'm playing, this is the Namco version. And I didn't want my family to buy it because the reason why I bought the Namco version, it just feels right. It feels right to. feels right to play Pac-Man on my standard Nintendo Entertainment System or something like that. But anyways, the second version was, was, was that Nintendo decided to give N Tengen a second chance by releasing, by releasing the same game by God, getting their Nintendo seal of quality. Hooray, Tengen got their seal of quality for, for Pac-Man in Pac-Mania, but I don't know if Miss Pac-Man got it. Like, I haven't seen it. I'm so like, come on. But, but, but there was one rule to Teng Nintendo gave to Tengen, is to use their NES cartridges, their NES cartridges, and not Tengen's own unlicensed cartridges. So that was a pretty important rule to Tengen. But then in 1993, Namco just decided, frick it, let's just add Pac-Man to, let's just add our own version of Pac-Man to the Nintendo Entertainment System. That would make her, that would make the Americans happy. And I got the Namco version, and this is the version I'm playing on. But you know the drill about Pac-Man. You have to control Pac-Man in a, in a blue-walled maze eating dust Dots being chased by four dangerous ghosts. Blinky, P Blinky, Inky, Pinky, and Clyde. 
Yep, you guessed it. The villain, the stylist, the, the stupid, and the cowardly. If Pac-Man touches those ghosts, he can die. But Pac-Man isn't entirely helpless. Four power pellets are scattered all across the maze. Which if Pac-Man eats the power pellet, he can turn the go he can turn the ghosts blue and eat them, blue and eat them, and make Pac-Man gets the reve gets his revenge. If Pac-Man eats the ghost, the ghost turns in the eyes and returns the and returns to the ghost face they came from to get their bodies back. If pa if Pac-Man eats all these dots, he w you win. But anyways, let's start this. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, starting off with a good start. So far, so good. All right, hi. Let's wait for Blinky and Inky to come. Oh, it's just Blinky. Gotcha, Blinky. Oh, there we go. Okay. Get that ghost. I mean, yes, that's Inky. Oh, wait, that's Pinky. I got Pinky. Wait, anyways. Oh, man. Okay. Let's get those pellets. Get the power pellet. I'm gonna try to chop up Quad. I got Quad and Inky. Alright. Alright. Let's get those pellets. Alright, come on. Alright, there we go. Right off the bat. Right off the dome, actually. Alright, I want a strawberry. Alright. Wait for Inky to pass. Alright. Hide again. We're doing the exact same route as the last time, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Get those belts. Alright. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Oh, oh my god! <gasps> okay? Don't get scared of Rosie, you're never scared of Pac-Man. Okay, I'm gonna go at chop. Okay. Oh no, Boinky's on my ass. He is on, right on me. Okay. Gotta go. There we go. Alright. First intermission. Alright, now I'm on the orange. Even though that's not even the color orange, that's that's just tan color. But it's NES graphics, so who cares? Sorry guys, I just had the gold real quick. Okay. Okay. Come on. Let's get these um power pellets. Let's get these not power pellets pellets. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Pac-Man. You can do this. Come on, Pac-Man. Alright, let me get Oh I got an like, extra life. Okay. Oh man, oh man. <gasps> okay. Yay, I cleared the level. Okay. Oh no, we're going fast now. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Okay. I love Sonic X. Okay. 
Okay, sorry I haven't talked in a while, guys. It's too busy. Okay. 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 What's going on? Okay, I'm going back then. Let's go. I'm going. Damn it, Pinky got me. God. There we go. Alright. Blinky reveals that he's a slug. And the rest of the ghosts are. And Pac Man can't tell him Scott Free. Oh no, we're going super fast! Super. Super fast. Okay, come on. Come on. Damn it, Blinky! Man! Okay. All that. Oh. What? Psh, like a boss. Alright. Now I'm on in the melon for a watermelon. Okay, come on. Come on. All right. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. Come on. All right. Come on. 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 Alright, come on, Pac Man. Come on, Pac Man, you juice. You juice, Pac Man. Alright, come on. Oh, oh, man. Damn it, Pinky. Oh. Well, anyways, guys. I guess that's it for today's episode. So, I will see y'all in the next episode. And this is a pretty cool game of Pac Man. This is a pretty cool port. But anyways, I'll see you later, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Renzo Network Gaming.